What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So as always, please make sure you subscribe and like the video for the YouTube algorithm. In this video, I want to talk about what you should do if you're a new grad and you're kind of graduating into this coronavirus world right now. So if you didn't line up a job prior to graduation, um, something I typically recommend everybody who is going through university is to try to line up your job in you know January and December of the year prior er, of the year that you're graduating and try to land that job then. Reach out to employers, uh, reach out to colleagues, past jobs, co-ops. Try to get yourself a job lined up for graduation in uh, the beginning of May. That's really a key. So if you've done that and you have a position lined up, great. If you haven't uh, and normally you were kind of hoping to start looking on March, April that's when you might have a problem. A lot of firms right now, from what I've seen and what I've heard, aren't hiring. Uh, they're kind of keeping the status quo, keeping their people going, keeping the employees they have uh, going. So if you're trying to get a job now, it might not be the best time. However, here are a couple tips that I can give you if you're looking to get into the working world. The first thing I would say is to not stop working. That means that you know you just finished your fourth year of school, you just finished your project, that's probably been the hardest project you've ever done. You're probably thinking, well, I'm gonna take advantage of this coronavirus and take a break. That's the completely wrong idea. So now's the time to kind of buckle down and kind of study uh, study your books. If you're a structural engineer, go over your, your concrete steel design, do some problems, and really focus uh, on keeping your knowledge base strong. Go on YouTube, find out new pro like every day you should be kind of going on YouTube or finding new problems, projects, and understanding different things. Experience right now is the most valuable thing you can have. So if you can't get a job to get that experience, at least do it yourself so that when you do get a job, when this kind of gets goes back to normal, you'll have a leg up on everybody else. And then you could also show us part of your resume that, you know, during the time that everybody else was relaxing, you were putting the work in and that just makes you look like a much better candidate. Tip number two is to keep a schedule going. Again, you have a schedule for school, so now you should make yourself one. It's all about the self-discipline here is my, my advice. Again, this is all my personal opinion, uh, just again, my advice. But it, again, keep a schedule going. Like if you, you know, if you wanna work, uh, if you want to call it work, make it for six hours a day. Do two hours of personal development, two hours of working on like soft skills, let's say, and then two hours of looking for jobs or uh, different opportunities. Tip number three would be to keep either looking for jobs or keep looking for opportunities. By opportunities, I mean, by opportunities, I mean, pick up the phone, look, call everybody. Call everybody who's in a consulting role or in a construction role or whatever and say, I want to work. And now they might not be able to pay you a full wage, but if you want to get that experience, which when you graduate is the most valuable thing you can have, your first job out of school is the most valuable. So make sure that now is the time that even if you're going to take a pay cut or work for free or whatever it might be, you're getting that experience because that experience is really what's going to set you apart for the rest of your life. Uh, again, sounds preachy, but that's just my opinion. Uh, tip number four, I kind of touched on it earlier, but it's work on your soft skills. So if you're someone that's been kind of very, very uh, smart and very in the books and, and that kind of thing, well, now's the time to maybe work on some other skills. So instead of the hard skills of engineering, work on the soft ones. So pick up the phone, practice talking to other people, uh, practice sending emails, practice communicating with others, practice communicating ideas, practice with your friends, practice with your family, practice with anyone. <laughs> so it just, it sounds a little silly, but again, you wanna work on practicing effective communication and effective delivery of whatever it might be. So again, pick up FaceTime, pick up your phone, call a friend and talk to them about whatever you learned or talk to them about the weather. But again, work on having those conversations and communicating ideas. Um, it's, it's really important to, to learn how to talk and how to express yourself, but it's also important to focus on communicating very important things across. And that might actually help you throughout the, the process of getting a job because uh, when you're picking up the phone or sending emails, you'll be communicating with people you've never met. And that's, you know, the whole cold call things, which you're never really taught to introduce yourself to somebody you've never really met. But again, this will give you some insight towards being able to do that. So it's going to be good practice in the long run anyways. And what's the alternative? You're sitting at home doing nothing. Well, I think that might be a better from a personal development standpoint. And again, if you're watching this YouTube channel, obviously you care about personal growth and development. So that might be a little piece of advice I would have for you. So this is a little, just a little short video. I just wanted to kind of get this out, uh, give people some advice. I got a couple comments and Instagram messages. As always, please make sure you try to follow me on Instagram. It's at uh, Karim Omri or on LinkedIn. Feel free to find me there. And if you have any uh, future questions or ideas, please send me a comment or a, a message and I'll be sure to reply uh, as always. Again, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video for the algorithm, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.